is Sally and I am a Yale 2021 summer intern as well as a rising senior at Burton High School. As we begin the transition back to our pre-pandemic lives, things can sometimes feel a little overwhelming, causing us to overthink or worse, regress to old habits. So my video today is focused on chronic stress. I'll be talking about the negative effects it can have on both our physical and mental health. I'll also be sharing some simple stress relieving tips. I hope you take away some new information and utilize some of these strategies in your own life. To begin, stress is a state of mental strain or tension resulting from very demanding circumstances. According to the American Psychological Association, chronic stress is a prolonged and constant feeling of stress that can negatively affect your health if it goes untreated. Chronic stress can affect both our physical and psychological well-being by causing a variety of problems including anxiety, insomnia, muscle pain, high blood pressure, and a weakened immune system. Research shows that stress can contribute to the development of major illnesses such as heart disease, depression, or obesity. The consequences of chronic stress are serious, yet many people who experience prolonged stress are not making the necessary lifestyle changes to reduce stress and ultimately prevent health problems. When we are continuously stressed for long durations, it can actually physically change our brains. The brain decreases in size, structure, and function over time, making it harder for us to remember new information that we're learning. Chronic stress leads to an increase in the release of a hormone, cortisol, that increases the activity in your amygdala. This is the part of your brain that processes fear, or according to the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, it detects and activates appropriate fear-related behaviors in response to threatening or dangerous situations. Your body's immediate response to increased cortisol levels are an increase in your heart rate and blood pressure. Some of the more severe symptoms of high blood pressure include headaches, nosebleeds, fatigue or confusion, vision problems, or even chest pain. After hearing some of the scary consequences that come from ignoring your body's stress levels, I'm going to be sharing some simple stress relieving tips that you can start using right now. The first thing you can do to reduce anxiety and stress levels is to read. Reading relaxes your body by lowering your heart rate and easing the tension in your muscles. And if you don't have books at home, you don't have to worry because Hoopla is a digital media service offered by the San Francisco Public Library that allows you to borrow movies, music, audiobooks, ebooks, comics, or even TV shows that you can enjoy later. Watching a movie is also another effective way for us to de-stress. Movies bring us a sense of relief and relaxes our minds because we don't have to think about anything else while watching. Canopy is another service partnered with our libraries that you can use to watch films and different TV series. All you have to do is sign up with your library card to get started. Mindfulness and meditation can help soften feelings of anxiousness, reduce stress, and can even calm a panic attack. When we meditate, we learn to be fully present, aware of where we are and what we're doing, in order to prevent being overwhelmed by what's going on around us. This playlist on YouTube is a good place to start. I've linked it in the resource list, so make sure to go check that out afterwards. Exercise and physical activity reduces stress hormones and causes your body to produce more endorphins, which is a chemical in the brain that helps you feel more relaxed. There are a ton of parks and trails that you can visit in our city of San Francisco. I've included a list below that has more information about the directions, the elevation, or even some of the animals you can see while you're on the trail. Lastly, I wanted to share two apps that you can download right now that have been helpful for me personally in reducing stress. The first app, Tangerine, 
helps form healthy habits, it can keep track of your mood, and even gives you a space to journal. The second app, Sayana, helps unpack your mind with daily check-ins and provides personalized tips and exercises that help you manage your stress and anxiety. After watching this video, I hope you understand how important it is to keep yourself healthy, both physically and mentally, and I hope you found something useful in my resource list. As always, don't forget to check out the other Yell Interns videos, and thank you so much for watching!